So you've done the difficult part and completed CFA level 1, 2 and 3. You've completed your graduation. You've been working here and there just to gain experience and now you're ready to go out in the market as a CFA professional and do something with your life in the field of finance. What skills do you guys need after you've completed even one of the number one courses in the field of finance of CFA? So here are five options that you guys should look at in spite of you have completed CFA. Now any of these five, if you've already mastered it or you've excelled in it in your journey of completing CFA, awesome. Some of these might be covered in CFA but at a very theoretical level as I'll explain you. So these are five additional hard skills which you should either be an expert in or at least some of them. And let me jump right into it. Before we start guys, if this is the first time you visited the channel, then please do subscribe and if you've been visiting us, then please do leave a like or comment so that more people like you can find us. Alright, skill number one, Excel. Now Excel seems to be really easy. I had taken an Excel course while I was studying uh, my academics and when I started working, it was approximately a year after my Excel course and I had forgotten everything. So with respect to Excel, while a lot of people learn on the job, the right way to do it is you should take a short course on excel right uh, zell also has it but you can also look across on youtube or udemy and so on and so forth take a short course uh, a few hours maybe 30, 20 30 hours or lesser actually and start doing that along with the time you are about to start a job so if you're looking for a job take up the excel course if you've just started your jo your job spend a few hours uh, every night for a week or two trust me it'll pay off so Excel is something which is a must have and by Excel I just don't mean the basics of sum and things like that but learn basics of pivot table of VLOOKUP the, the, the way Excel is made it's to simplify your life to either read data and make sense out of it or analyze data in a way that you can make better decisions for a finance professional or for a CFA for that matter this is a skill which cannot be missed Skill number two, financial modeling. So what is the difference between Excel and financial modeling? Excel, you can, like I said, right, you can read data, you can analyze data, you can do a lot. Financial modeling is whether you use Excel or another spreadsheet or another software, you basically take data and turn it into some form of either financial statement or some form of forecast, something that you take raw data and turn it into information and knowledge which you can accurate predictions of you can increase some form of return some form of profit for either an individual or an organization that's what financial modeling is all about in another video i did explain that we have a financial modeling course in association with bombay stock exchange so if again you guys want y'all you need any help with that do reach out to us otherwise like i said there are tons of financial modeling options available across the net and that's skill number two skill number three actually i'll combine skill three and four it's fundamental and technical analysis now while many of you all must be thinking if you have not taken off cfa then wouldn't this the most basic aspects of analyzing the stock markets right fundamental and technical analysis isn't this going to be covered in cfa which is the number one course in finance so cfa covers this for sure but at a basic level at a theoretical level because think about it each market in the world indian stock market is different from the us and cfa tries to teach us principles of the stock market you guys should learn if you're applying to stay in india at least for the next couple of years spend a few hours spend a few days learning fundamental and technical analysis a lot of people who go into fundamental will never do technical and vice versa when you are starting your career your base if you are just a little more prepared with what the details of these analytic forms are after you've completed your cfa while you're working it might be a little effort but the return is unreal because think about it you've completed something which is a really important qualification in your life you're learning fundamental and technical analysis of the market you're working in let's say india and now you're working in your day job trying to use your cfa skills that time if you also understand the rudimentary aspects of the stock market how much of your experience how much of your exposure can you build on in your own mind you'll be ahead of even other cfas who have not put in this effort so fundamental and technical analysis is something which is a must once again for cfas worst case if you don't want to learn both at least pick one which for some reason you feel you would be better at or you like more 
uh, that you can gauge based on your studies and CFA. And skill number five is risk management. Once again, risk management is covered in CFA, but at a basic level, that's why a lot of CFAs land up doing FRM, which is the much more specialized course in the field of risk management. As a finance professional, risk management should be something which is second nature to you. Uh, especially if you're handling other people's money. So it's going to be really, really important that you guys do take risk management seriously. As I always explain, right, it's it's available out there. Please, even if you just watch the a 10 minute video, but a couple of them, just get an understanding of what risk management is. Dive a little bit into it just to just to know that when you go out in the real world and you face or you, you are exposed to something of risk management, you know that, okay, this falls under this category, either combine it with your CFA knowledge or your additional effort put in and the outcome that you can generate for your company for your clients for yourself is going to be again a skill set which you should ideally not miss so guys these are five skill sets out of which i would suggest the first one is ideally non-negotiable second one as a cfa is once again non-negotiable and from three four and five i would say if you guys are extremely aspirant and do you know study all three separately but otherwise at least study one of these and this will sort of nudge you into the kind of career that you're going to have as a finance professional as always if we've missed anything then please do put it in the comments and let us know what other videos we can make for you guys